Who, who's, oh. who are you with there, Holly? I just don't care. Morning, Charlie. This is Hazel. Hazel's very, well, sort, sort of friendly. She's very cute, but yeah, she does that a lot. Hazel, I'm going to move away because you're going to take a chunk out of me. Yes, good morning. Now, this is feeding time in the penguin enclosure. And this is a time where the final preparation should be getting underway for a really, really busy June visiting times. There should be tens of thousands of people coming here. But sadly, Chester Zoo has been closed to the public since the 21st of March. That is really bad news. So far, it's lost £5 million in funding. It costs £1.6 million a month to run this place. And when you look at all these little mouths to feed, you can tell exactly why. So that's led to some concern now that this place might not be able to open its doors again. Uh, let's find out a little bit more about this with Jamie, Jamie Christworth. Uh, Christ, apologies. Uh, you are the Chief Operating Officer of the Penguin Enclosure. I'm painting a pretty grim picture here. Uh, how bad is it? And you think, you know, you, you need £1.6 million pounds a month to stay. Fine. There's been a huge amount of support, you know, since yesterday when you, you talked about this and the fact that the, the doors might not open again. Is that really the case? Is that a concern now? It is a, a, an absolute critical concern for us but we've been absolutely overwhelmed by the support we've had from right round the northwest of England from the UK and internationally since where we put this campaign together save our zoo yesterday so uh, long may it continue absolutely Jamie there's a lot more work to do obviously here this morning uh, Hazel's back again she's come back for a little bit more Hazel I've got nothing for you I don't know what to say there we go Mark's helping out thank you uh, well, join us a little bit later on we're going to leave the penguin enclosure uh, some animal that's a little bit friendlier I think with long eyelashes and, and quite a bit taller than me. What do you think? Charlie, to with your guest. I feel very lucky, exactly. We'll be back with Holly a little later. Morning, save our zoo. That's the message from the UK's most visited zoo this morning. Since its closure in March, it's already lost millions of pounds and facing the prospect of not opening its doors again. Well, I'm here at Chester Zoo finding out what can be done to save it from extinction. Friends, Chester Zoo is where we are. Uh, Ollie, tell us, tell us who you're with there and what's the problem at the zoo because they've got some real financial issues. Yes, morning, Charlie. Yes, this is Tula. Making loads of friends this morning. Made friends with some penguins this morning and now we've got some giraffes here. But no, this is unfortunately not great news this morning. Obviously, since the pandemic, uh, it's been a, a huge crisis for places like this. They've had to close their doors. Chester Zoo's had to close its doors since the 12th, sorry, the 21st of March. And since then, well, it's lost millions of pounds because, of course, no visitors means no ticket sales, means no money. And for a place like this that costs £1.6 million a month to run, I mean, that is just a crisis in itself, isn't it? And now they're concerned that they might have to close their doors for good. You can see where all this money goes, of course. 1.6 million, you've got to pay the staff, you've got to pay for the site itself, insurance, and feeding the 35,000 animals. Uh, let's speak to Lindsay, who can tell us a little bit more about these animals. And good morning, Lindsay. You mentioned the fact today is, of course, you know, that the feed.